Hello, boys and girls, it is Miss Oates, and today we're going to be going over asking and answering questions in a nonfiction text. So let's go ahead and get started. Our I can statements say this I can show understanding of a text by asking and answering questions. I can refer to key details to support answers to questions formulated about the text. And our Mississippi Common Core standard is RI 2.1, ask and answer questions as to who, what, where, when, why, and how to demonstrate an understanding of key details in a text. So the first thing that we need to go ahead and talk about is talking about asking questions and why we ask questions. So we ask questions to help us understand. If you think about walking into your classroom today um, or looking outside, what is the weather? What am I going to wear today? Why am I going to school? I wonder what is for breakfast. Uh, how am I getting to school? Ooh, where, are my where are my shoes at? Um, ooh, how is Mary going to get to school? Um, how's Bob going to get to school? Where will my teacher be there? You ask so many questions throughout the day. And as readers, we also ask questions when we're reading a book and we ask questions beforehand, during, and after we're reading a text. So what if I'm looking at a book about... If I'm looking at a book about bats, for example, one of the questions that I might ask beforehand is, what is this book going to be about? Um, a question that I might ask at, during is, why does a vampire bat like animal, um, animal blood instead of human blood? And then a question I might afterwards would be like, okay, how can I help protect bats to keep them safe? So those are some different questions that you will ask during when you're reading an actual book or a closed read text. And of course, if we're asking questions, we have to have the ability to answer questions. But first, let's take a look at some common question words. So who is going to be who the story is about, whether it's an animal, person, or thing? What can go with any type of question? When would be the time or the date that a story might take place? Where would be the location? Why would be some of those deeper thinking questions? So, for example, why do vampire bats like animal blood? With those types of questions, I will have to think about my, what I read about in the book. And I also have to think about what I already know about bats, my schema. And then how questions can also be deep questions, or they could be simple questions, such as how many, how much, how big, how often, how can so those are some often question words that you, you may use when you're asking questions. And of course, if you're asking questions, then you're going to be answering questions. And to answer questions, we use the text to find our answer. And as we're looking throughout the text, we are looking for key details. Key details are important facts, examples, or other pieces of information in text that help to explain the main idea of the text or help us to answer questions. So think of a light bulb moment. Those light bulb moments that we have as readers are really important thoughts. Key details are those important thoughts. So now, after we, since we've gone over what asking questions are, what are some question words, how do we answer questions, and how do we look for key details, I want to give you an example. So on this slide, you will see a text about manatees. So I, as, I, as I am reading this story, I'm going to be coming up with four questions about manatees. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pull the key details to help formulate these questions. So I have to ask a what question, a where question, and why question, and a how question. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. The very first thing I need to do is I need to read my story. So I'm going to grab my laser pointer so that I can keep track as I'm reading because good readers always keep track as they're reading. So manatees. Manatees are a very large aquatic mammals that can be found in warm, shallow waters. They are herbivores, which means that they eat plants that they find underwater. Manatees can grow up to 12 feet long and weigh up to 1,800 pounds. 
In the wild, manatees can live up to 60 years old. These mammals are known for their slow movements through the shallow waters of the sea or other waterways. Okay, so now that I've read my story, I'm going to go ahead and come up with some questions. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I am going to highlight some key details to help me answer my question or ask my questions in this case. Okay, so a wet question. Mm, I know, I want to know what manatees are. Well, I know manatees are a large aquatic mammal. So I'm going to go ahead and ask what, oops, a little thick. What are large aquatic mammals? Okay. Well, an example would be a manatee. Okay. Where? Ooh. Where do manatees live? That would be a good question. So where do manatees live? Okay, let's see. Looking back through my text, my why question, I know that manatees are known for their slow movements. Well, I want to know why do they move so slow? So I think that's going to be my next question. Why do manatees move so slowly? Okay, so that's my why question. All right, now I need to come up with a how question. Mm. Ooh, I know. It mentions that manatees eat plants. So I think my how question is going to be, how do manatees find food? There. So what I was able to do is I was able to use the key details from the story to help come up with questions. Now what I'm going to show you is how you can use those key details to help answer some of the questions. So same article, but here are some questions that I have. This time though, I'm going to read the questions first and then I'm gonna skim through my article and I'm gonna highlight my answers, the key details that help to answer those questions. And then I'm going to use those key details and part of a question to formulate sentences or answers to those questions. So let's go ahead and get started. So my first question is, what is a manatee? So manatees are very large aquatic mammals. Ooh, right there, I'm gonna highlight large aquatic mammals. And now I'm able to answer the question. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a manatee to help answer my question. So a manatee, so there's the subject of my sentence, is a, and this is where I'm going to put in my key details, is a large aquatic mammal. Squeeze it in and make sure I put a period at the end because that's all of our sent. All complete sentences need to have some sort of ending punctuation. Awesome. Okay, I'm ready to get that started. All right, what's my next question? So what do manatees eat? So I'm going to skim through again until I find the answer to that question, until I find that key detail that tells me the answer. Okay, so manatees are very large aquatic mammals that can be found in warm, shallow waters. They are herbivores, mm, big word right there, which means they can eat plants. So they eat plants plants. So what do manatees eat? Manatees eat um, plants. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight manatees eat in my question because I'm going to use that part of the question to help form my answer. And then I'm going to use they eat plants to help find my, to write down my answer. So what do manatees eat? Manatees, oops, gotta get my pen tool ready. Um, manatees eat plants. 
Perfect. Okay. So how long do manatees live? Okay. So let me take out my highlighter again. All right, here we go. So manatees can grow up to 12 feet long and weigh up to 1,800 pounds. That's not where my answer is. In the wild, manatees can live up, ooh, can live up to 60 years old. Ooh, that's the answer to my question. Okay. So I'm going to highlight that key detail, and then I'm going to go back to my question. I'm going to figure out what words I can use to find, to write down my answer. So how long do manatees live? Manatees live. Mm, let me see. I'm going to say manatees live. Manatees can live up to 60 years old. I think that's what my, I'm going to write down because that includes manatees live, and it includes my answer. My key detail that I found is my answer. So manatees live up to 60 years old. Perfect. Okay. The very last question is where are manatees found? Well, ooh, 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 ooh. Well, I remember I found that part in the beginning. So let me go back up to the top. And it says manatees are very large aquatic animals that can be found in warm, shallow waters. Ooh, look, it's right there. Oh, I was able to find all of my answers in the text. That's awesome. Okay. So where are manatees found? I'm going to use manatees found or manatees are found in warm, shallow waters. Excellent. And I'm gonna make sure that I put a period at the end of my sentence. All right, so was I able to answer all of my questions? I was, was I able to find all of my answers and the key details in the story. Yes, I was. So boys and girls, that is it. That is how you ask and answer questions by looking in the text and pulling out those important key details, the light bulb moments. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And remember when you're answering questions in a text, always go back to the story because that is where you will most likely find the answers to all of your questions. All right, boys and girls, until next time, bye.